Hello everybody and welcome to Timberborn. Now that is a game that has um, just recently, actually just a few days ago, released into early access and from uh, from the comments I've read and the videos I've seen, it sounds like it's quite similar to uh, Banished if you played this one before. So it is a post-apocalyptic survival game where we are going to manage a colony of beavers to, well, essentially rebuild the... Uh, thriving population over here. Now, um, at the start of the game, we've got two options over here for factions. Um, I'm sure there's going to be more, but um, seems like the Iron Teeth over here is not yet available, so we have to play with the Folktales first. So let's grab these guys. I have had a quick look at the game, obviously, um, so just to see what it's, what it's like and just to understand some of the game mechanics as well. And I was thinking of um, I tried the planes before, and it seems this is the recommended map that you start with, but um, I'm thinking, since I've already had a bit of a practice on this, why don't we try the terraces over here? Uh, that might be uh, something something to spice it up a little bit. Now, I think for the uh, game mode, we will uh, they've got three options over here, easy, normal, and hard. Uh, and also a custom where we can, you know, customize it a little bit, make it make it suit our needs. But um, for the sake of this video, I think we're just gonna go with the normal um, right in the middle over there. And here's our beaver, uh, well, the first foundation of our beaver colony over here. Um, so just to go through the interface over here, it seems like oh, I can't zoom out anymore. Seems we are on top of uh, some sort of a mountain over here, and we've got a nice little river going down, a couple of waterfalls. And let's have a quick look what's around. I uh, wish we could zoom out a little bit more. Uh, yep, yeah, that looks much more interesting than the, uh, the initial map. Much more uh, challenges to build across, and that would be really cool, actually, if we could build some sort of like a bridge across eventually in the future but essentially yeah we've got a few types of resources here we've got food we've got uh, a lumber and uh, what else we got metal here as well but i didn't really get that far to harvest metal in my quick test run uh up here we got some uh, population well-being uh so there's different needs that we need to satisfy uh what's this there's the science we've got some materials food and logs oh of course and water as well Right, so we've got a bit of a small tutorial over here, so I think we are okay to close this. And let's plan out our our colony in in here. We are going to need some water, so we'll definitely pull down some roads. And maybe we could even build some stairs down here as well to get a little bit more wood. We do not have a huge amount of uh, trees over here, although these will give us two logs, which is better than the... What was the other ones? Ah, oh, the birch the, uh, trees. Yeah. So pines give us two. The maples are the juiciest of them all. They give us eight logs. All right. So the very first things we want to do is let's uh, designate all of those trees to be cut down. And we'll do the same on top. We're going to need all of you guys. Thank you very much. And um, food-wise, yep, we are going to need some stuff there as well. Now... Let's see, maybe if we'll pull out the road, like so, maybe over here. Ah, uh, alright, you know what, let's do it this way. Cool. And the very first things, uh, just to, oh yeah, quickly go, let, let's go through the interface at the bottom here as well. So we've got a um, button to designate trees for cutting or, or remove them. We can plant some crops, we can plant some trees and bushes as well. Demolish things, priorities paths and structures, a bit of landscaping, storage, labor, housing for the beavers, uh, water, they will need some drinking water, and food, uh, we got some lumberjack planks, lumber mill and things like this, metal, power, science, leisure, decorations and monuments. And there isn't a whole lot of buildings just yet, but since the game is in early access, I'm sure there's going to be some more improvements in the future so let's let's get this started and i think we're gonna put our lumberjack that can actually cover pretty much all of it so yeah let's let's do it this way let's put another one since we do have the beaver power in uh in here a few available people and we also want to start 
getting as much as food as we can. So, right, let's do it this way. Let's get these things built. And next thing will be a water pump. Now, how do we want to do this? Guess that's where we have the bridge going on later. And I think... Yeah, this spot should be good. What we can also do is... Eventually, we are going to need some power, so... How about a water wheel? That can... Yeah, there's enough space over here. So let's pause this one. So we don't need power straight away. We'll speed up the game straight away. And... What else? Ah, we could build... Actually, I don't know if we can. Maybe we have to... I don't know if you can build a bridge straight across because it's quite quite a drop over there. Maybe you have to sort of zigzag down and then cross from here. Well, we'll see how it goes, but for the time being. Um, next thing, we need to stick those logs somewhere. Is that going to take any logs? No, that is not. So that's fine, I suppose. Let's actually... Let's use this uh, unfertile land over here. Um, so yeah, that's another thing to mention. Um, essentially, the whole, well, most of the land is is barren and not not really uh, usable in, in a sense of you, you can't really uh, plant crops in this area over here. However, if it's nearby a river or a water source, then the land becomes fertile, uh, fertile, and we can uh, we can plant some crops and some uh, you know trees and uh, you know things things will be growing there which is which is very nice and so we are almost done with the first few buildings here perfect uh, leisure let's give them something fun to do here maybe hmm yeah here nah yeah let's do it over here and I guess the next step, we are going to need some housing for these guys as well. So, uh, I'm assuming we will be having a road somewhere through there. So when it comes to the housing, I think we could put some stuff here. But, I think first what we might need, not the log pile, we're going to need a small warehouse over here. Nice. And then we'll slap down a few few houses as well. So a couple of not many options right at the start, but uh, you know what? Let's let's just put them. Hmm. Oh, I see. All right, let's do a couple over there. Maybe we'll speed up the time. Uh, even even more. All right, what's going on here? Oh, it isn't connected. Uh, let's fix that straight away. There we go. Now we are going to need to store that water somewhere. So. How about... Let's see. We've got this water wheel. Just in here. So we could maybe... Do a couple of these ones. Storages. Yep. Yeah. That should be good. And yeah, off they go. Now we've got also a campfire. So campfire is a place where these beavers can uh, chill out, talk to their friends and just have a bit of fun when they're, uh, when they're feeling uh, a little bored. So yeah, that's... Sorry, that is not for fun. That is for social life. Yeah, so that's going to satisfy their social life need. And then once we get to um, uh, progress to eight of those um, categories being satisfied, then we will unlock the Iron Teeth faction. And we also got the log pile over here as well. So once the the beavers are, have got down those trees, we will um, just store them over here. I guess the next thing that we really want to rush for is to start planting new trees. Because once they're done, I think that's... Uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be... Um, a little bit more difficult so to do that we need to unlock the forester which needs 60 sign points to get science we need to build this inventor over here and inventor is going to need some power so that's why we have the water wheel queued up over there but i'm thinking maybe we'll place it something like so 
back. Hmm. You know what? Let's do it this way. Let's put it here. And let's build a path here as well. Now we can unpause the water wheel. Maybe prioritize this here. And we also have a small warehouse. So once these uh, gathering posts are full, they will also start stocking them in the in the warehouse over here. Uh, how far are we with the with the houses? Okay, we still need a few more logs. How many builders do we have? Two. Okay, that's not too bad. And uh, right now, I've well, I haven't really said it. It's it's the default values over here, and the beaver is will work 16 hours each day um i think that's fine we don't really need to play with that too much it's not like we're having any sort of emergencies just yet uh, but it might be useful at a later stage another thing we're gonna have to build is because at some point there is gonna be a drought over here where all the water will disappear unless unless we build this dam and I think this will be just perfect. We only need to have built two of them, which is going to take 40 logs in total. And that way we can keep some of the water here and uh, make sure our colony survives the uh, the drought. But okay, let's check on the progress. Ah, oh, that's... Well, we've got the uh, small water tank built, which is good. Guess the next things... Uh, what are we building on there? Hmm, let's see, food's fine, so we could maybe prioritize this here instead. And then, um, let's queue up the dam already, but we'll lower the priority a little bit. We also have to provide them um, a path over here so they can reach it. Let's see, let's do... <laughs> I don't know, something like this for the time being. And right, we've got our first house over here. So that is very nice. How far are we with the water wheel? About 20 logs into it. So yeah, with the houses, once we've got enough houses for everybody, then they will also start having uh, little beaver babies. Uh, right, so we got a two unemployed people the logs are almost down food's almost harvested i think we'll add two more builders for the time being so that way our construction projects will be a little bit quicker to complete and also let's see so once we get this going we are gonna have to move the power and connect the inventory to the power grid and, and there they come few more logs halfway there and I think I will queue up let's see is this yep that is up now and we'll queue up this over here as well uh, rotate it so it's connecting to this building nice Okay, seems our water collector is full now. So what we can do is we'll take you off. Oh, actually. We got two unemployed. Why is that so? We have enough builders. Well, maybe we'll have another another one of those. Another lumberjack just about here. And we've got plenty of berries for the time being, so that should be okay as well. And look at that. Just chilling over here by the campfire. campfire. Very lovely indeed. Uh, come on. Okay, so this is up now. That's fantastic. Now, let's get these built as well, please. Yep, or maybe even higher priority. You know what? That's, yeah, that's fine. Let's do it. Oh, this is almost done. So is you and you. Good. So that means we can get the inventor running, powers connected, and we can start generating some science already. 
All right, nice. So once that is good, are they able to reach this? They are. Okay. Yeah, let's get. Huh. Oh, too far. Of course, they can't reach it because they don't have the dam. Um, yeah. So there's different types of um, uh, buildings over here. We could we can build uh, stairs, platforms, and uh, different levels of platforms, bridges. Uh, and on the landscaping, we've got the dam and the le uh, levee um, over here as well. The difference is that dam lets through some water, whereas the other one does not. Uh, floodgates, different heights, and explosive factory. Oh, that would be fun to use. I suppose that's for land. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's, in, it's on the landscaping, so we can create some different um, paths for the, for the river as well, I suppose. And here goes uh, Zenma. She is already producing some signs for us. We've got nine over there. So that is great. How many do we need for the forester? Uh, we need about, let's say, 60 over there. Um, now, that is great. We will we should be able to reach 60 fairly fast. However, we are going to need some planks for that as well. So for that, we are going to build a lumber mill. I'm just thinking, where should we put it? I think here should be just about... Hmm. Actually, it might be better if it was all the way over here. So that way we don't use up all this nice fertile land. Although we got plenty of space to plant our crops over there as well. Ooh. Because that means we also need to extend... Oh, no, 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 no. We need... We need someone here. We're out of water. Okay, one of you guys. Get working. Yeah, maybe we'll just leave it on even if it's full. We don't want our beavers to die from thirst. And we are going to need some more housing too. So, right, one of the dams is already built. Uh, it's, I think the camera is a little bit difficult. I really hope they improve this. Maybe a bit more zoom and... Here we go. Okay. Um, yeah, let's put some more housing over here. I want to this way, and I think the bath will come through here as well. We'll get rid of you. And like so. There we go. How far? Just two more logs, and the dam is fully built. Now, coming back. Yeah, lumber mill. Okay, I think the temporary solution. Let's let's just um, smack it over there, and that should be good. Is the water source? Uh, yeah, we are starting to um, run low on those trees. Really want to get this uh, forester done. Twenty points. We got thirty, so maybe a couple more days, and we should have it have it up and running. One unemployed. Hmm. And out of water as well. Oh. Your beavers are happier than ever. You have reached a new well-being high score. Let's have a look. What did we get? We got the sleep one, I believe. Well, that is fantastic. Just uh, three more to go. And um, yeah, everyone ha does have a home now. Uh, we are still going to build a couple more. So that way um, some of the new families can move into into this housing to make even more beaver babies. Cool. Uh, logs, we've got a decent supply right now. And the lumber mill is almost built as well. So that one un unemployed person has now started working in our lumber mill. And that is a Sati... Sati 6? Sati 6? Something like that. Anyways, thanks buddy. We are gonna need those logs. Uh, very soon. Well, we only need 7, so that's good. Once we get those 7 built, we can... Uh, you know, yeah, uh, just pause, pause the uh, building. Uh, right now, let's see, we've got dam built, so that's good, which means this will be producing quite, quite a nice amount of power as well. The water level has raised a little bit in, uh, in here. Now, the problem is, right now, we don't really have power supply if the drought comes in, but I think we do have enough time to figure this out. 
we could build things like power wheels and also windmills. Well, we need 120 science for that, but um, but uh, yeah. Uh, next thing on our list, food. What can we do? We can build a farmhouse. Maybe that's not a bad shout, actually. How about... Well, this is going to be our logging, I think. So farm should be more, more on this side. And I'd like it to not take up any fertile space or land here. Hmm, yeah. I think we're gonna have it somewhere here. Let me just reshuffle you. You come here so we can rebuild this road network. And maybe... Hmm. Yeah, let's... Um, Let's see, we want to demolish this here. So that way the roads is going to be from here. And now let's demolish this part. And with the farm, I think that could be a good spot over here. Another cool thing as w uh, <laughs> another cool thing in, in this game is also you can stack buildings. So the ones that are solid and have this flat sort of um, roof. Um, you can uh, you can go up vertically, which is which is pretty cool. Uh, save some space. Uh, we do have to be quite smart about uh, how we plan this out, but I think for the time being, we don't have to worry about it too much. We can always uh, rebuild things and uh, see how it goes. So we will get this farm up and running. Don't really have any children just yet. Um, this probably isn't. Very promising, but I'm sure they will come along. We've got 54 science as well, so we're almost there with the forester. And yeah, do want to start planting as soon as we can. 57, ah, oh, so close. All right, we'll um, give them another day to rest. Rest up for next day. Then we should have the science. We'll unlock the forester. And... Um, yeah, we get him uh, planting some trees for us as well. Alright. And day 11 has started. Right, in the farm we don't really have any people just yet. I think what we can do is... We'll demolish you. And... Let's plant some crops over here. So... Maybe something like this for the time being. Yeah. Off you go. Plant those carrots. Very lovely. All right. Um, now, next. I think, um, well, it would be smart to build some more of those small water tanks over here. But um, because we do have this dam, I'm not too worried about storing enough water. I think we should be fine. I do want to save those um, those logs. And uh, we've got 69 uh, science over here, which means we can unlock the forester indeed. There we go. Very fancy. So with the forester, I think that looks like a pretty good spot for me. Ooh, maybe even here. Right against this. Okay, so in that case, let's get rid of you. Forester. Yep, just just like so. Connect you with the road network as well. And we'll get our builders on it. Uh, we got one unemployed. Hmm. What are we missing right now? Let's see. We've got the carrots growing. Maybe we'll do some more carrots. Yeah, let's do some more carrots. All of you. And we'll stick you in there for the... Uh, actually, we'll let you work in the forest building here. Right, so time to start marking this up. We want all of these. Yep, the maple one. That's going to take quite a while. So, hmm. I guess whilst we're waiting, why not have... 
Yeah, that looks good. And we could also continue the road from here. And perfect. Okay. Now to advance our colony, I think we're going to need the research to speed up a little bit. Maybe, uh, actually, uh, trees will be an issue. Um, I'm sure it will be. So how about we'll just do some more. Just fill it all up, you know. Can you reach all of this? Yeah, we can, we can. So that's good. That is very nice. And the road's going to be there as well. Food-wise, ooh, we are running very low. So maybe that's another thing we should do as well. Let's just... Oh. They're not going to grow. Let's have a look again. Maybe this should be fine. Maybe these patches as well. I'm not, sh not too sure. And then... Well... Oh, we've got a first baby. Baby beaver. Nice. And uh, next, I think we are going to provide a bit more housing. Let's slap another one here. And we still got quite a bit of land. So, how about we extend the network roughly somewhere here, I'm, I'm guessing. Uh, unemployed. Oh, we got two more children now. Uh, which brings us... Brings our total population to 14. And here we go. Here's the notification forecast for drought incoming. And um, just in three days, 2.9 now. And uh, let's let's see how it goes. And here's our fur no, I'm wrong. He's just planting here. I thought that was gonna be our first harvest. The food's running pretty low. Um little bit worried about it, if I'm very honest. But um yeah, maybe some more, I don't know, just over here, like so. Just plant more carrots. Off you go. Alright, great. We've got some berries. <sighs> Alright. Cool. Now. I think things are fairly okay so far. We got our... Um, First bit of uh, settlement going there. We got trees going. We've got a uh, bit of food there as well. We should be able to survive this drought. I'm hoping, yeah, hoping the dam will hold the water. And uh, nice, some more blueberries getting ready to it. Other ones are at 90 plus percent, so that's good. Unemployed zero until those three children will grow up. And he's pretty busy over here as well, planting those trees. Gilter, thank you very much for doing all that. And I think we can plant some more trees in here. Like so, and maybe a few more maples. Alright, perfect. Cool. How far are those carrots? 75%, okay. Yeah, I think we're fine. We should be okay. Uh, one of the options we could do right now is we could improve our science. Actually, we are going to need another beaver in here. To harvest and maintain all that at some point. And I think the next thing, yeah, we might go for a bit more science. We are, oh, the science isn't going to work when the drought comes in. Because the river won't be running. So our option is to build a beaver uh, operated power wheel over here. Could go somewhere. Actually, this might just be a power connection is being plugged. Why? Oh, right. We need to modify this. Yeah, this could be a good spot. We'll keep this going. And which block is it? This one. Okay. You know what? We are going to change you to a T junction. Let's spin you around. Is this the right way? It is. There we go. Uh, please do this one first. And what's your problem? Oh, there's no power. Of course. And the carrot's 80. 80%. Good. 
Two is only at 30 right now, but but yeah, planks. We've got 20 in here. We might slow down the plank production at some point. And he's gone off to plant all those trees. Lovely. So that's oh already 40 percent. Not bad at all. Seven. Yeah, they're gonna take quite a long time here. And let's pop some more maple trees as well. There we go. How far can you go? Oh, that's the furthest. Okay. And we'll finish this road. Thinking to put some more trees in here, actually. Maybe we'll do some... Um... Let's see. And the trout has started. No more water coming out of this spot over here. And uh, let's see. Yep. The water stopped flowing, which means we've got no more power. Yikes. All right. Let's see how it's going to go. We'll connect you up. Uh, so you're not working anymore. Uh, you seem to be still working somehow. Uh, I guess maybe you don't need power then. Yeah. So that's... Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, it seems like our carrots are ready as well. So food-wise, we should be good for the trout. Um, but um, that's going to be the end of uh, this uh, this episode. We'll uh, probably do a couple more. See how and where we can, we can go with this colony. Uh, and so thanks very much for watching and uh, hope to see you again.